Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Zoe. Today I'm going to be taking you through my backyard. In front, I'm showing you all there is to see. So to begin with, I have this shrub of mine. It is the green variety and the red variety, as you can see in this video. And they are great plants to have in your home for decorative purposes. This one is the rock plant. And then here I have my intercropped maize. Intercropped with beans. It's been there for about a week now. It's almost at knee height. In two weeks time, it will be at knee height. Perfect for relishing my pub meals. I really enjoy dishing it with my pub. And then here there's this lemon tree. So green and young. I propagated it from a cut and now look at it so healthy. Wow. And some bit of mulching there. Look at my maze. It's so green. This one is at knee height. It's been there for three weeks now. As you can see, some beans there to intercrop it. For that nitrogen fixation, you know, yeah, good for nutrient enrichment to the soil. I like this combination though. What do you think about this, guys? Ah, nature. Then this is my lawn is drying out. <laughs> I skip out a lot of a lot of days to irrigate it. I'm just a bit lazy. I don't know. As you can see, it's drying out. It's, it's got pages of brown, then green. <laughs> then you have my sugar cane. Yeah. You know, sugar cane is something more of a perennial. So, this is the newest crop I have. That's why it's still a bit short. But it's very sweet. We're ripe. Then I have my granadilla. Hey, it's overgrown a bit. I'll have to prune it or trim it, I don't know. But it produces very big granadilla fruits. Oh, they are so juicy and sweet. Then I have my banana tree. As you can see, it's a bit windy. Yeah, and the banana tree is so big. Those big leaves. I enjoy the shade during the hot summers. Sometimes I even sit here and listen to some music. Yeah, this bug though. I don't know why banana trees have purple stems. Can anyone explain this for me in the comment section? I, my curiosity. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm the cat. I'm so curious. Yeah. Then these are my grapes. They are climbing along the jura wall. They are climbing upward, and soon enough they will start to produce some grapefruits. And then I can try and make my own wine. <laughs> I don't know if that is safe. Some more maize. I don't know. Maybe I'm obsessed with maize, guys. What do you think? This one is five weeks old, as you can see by the length. So shiny. I really water it. I try my best to maintain it. I add some compost manure. Then I have some legumes. That is sweet potato and cassava. Then some beans, soya beans. Yeah. And my cassava there for some tea in the morning. I really enjoy traditional foods at times. They are so healthy. And some of them have carcinogens. They all fight against cancer. So why not go for it? Then these are some some call them dandelions. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think they are called? I just call them flowers. <laughs> they are in my yard anyway. <laughs> then these are my mint plants. As you can see, they are good for flus. Even for good aroma in your home. They are also good for decorations. For, for aesthetic beauty, you know. My mints. Ah, so nice. The beauty of nature. And this right here is my other granadilla plants. And these are my mbambayiras. What do you call them? Sweet potatoes. 
There are two varieties. These ones with the sharp thin leaves. And then I have my gold and green shrub. Some call it the Bowei tree. The Bowei tree. But I just like to call it the golden green shrub. It's so beautiful as you can see. So nice. So aesthetic. And you can be very creative as creative as you want with this shrub. Get one for yourself, guys. Hmm. Some rocks. <laughs> I just added them to my to my shrubs. I don't know. So thank you guys for watching.